Well, this is the kind of seedy, pardon the pun, backstory of what's going on with the grain deal. So if we look at this. This is from The Guardian. Ukraine helps feed the world, but its farmers, seeds and future are in danger. <clears throat> it actually goes on to talk about how grassroots farmers and suppliers have become the kind of backbone of this war because the um, the Russians have destroyed the seed banks that belong to Bayer, Monta Monsantino, um, so on and so forth. So you've got four companies here that dominate 60% of the global market. And this is from a report from the EU. Now, they would probably dominate more of the market, but Monsantino is banned in the EU. Um, the pesticides they use are not... Um, uh, are not uh, are able to be used within the European market. So letting Ukraine come in through the back door in the way that it is into the EU market is essentially going to drive down the um, the food standards of grain that exists in the EU. So what this is basically saying is, yes, you can like buy a product that's made in America shipped to the EU, but you can't manufacture a product from grain that's been grown with these pesticides. Bill Gates bought um, hundreds of thousands of shares of Monsantino in 2010, um, which I imagine Bill Gates has got shares in many, 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 many things. I imagine it's 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 not even necessarily something that he has a great deal to do with. Um, from what I've seen, he has been pretty vocally against the Kiev regime and against what's going on in Ukraine. Um, I have mixed feelings about Bill Gates. I think that he is at heart a eugenicist. I do, but I think that that's more to do with his culture, his upbringing, his religion. Um, it is true of many, many, many white Europeans. We, it's it's what we've been taught is right. You know, have less children. Um, you know, only the you know strong survive, and if they're there, keep them alive for as long as you know. It's it's very much ingrained in our culture. Um, Bill Gates, I I do think tries to do good, personally. I just think he gets it very, very wrong. And he is a prime example of why one man <clears throat> having all that money and that ability to cock up the amount that he has is a poor, poor, poor idea. Because even when someone's got the best will in the world, if policy allows them to, you know, give polio um, side effects to hundreds of thousands of Indians because they don't understand that the polio vaccine is only designed for white people there's probably an issue with policy. So when it comes to the grain, and the reason why, right from the very beginning, I've talked about the grain deal as being a massive factor of this war, is because if this is allowed to continue pervading on European food standards, it will be a huge win for the multinational companies that have set up shop in Ukraine with the intention of creating these products to sell into the European market. If they can get this grain in in its, um, in its raw form through the back door, which is what they're trying to do, essentially they've won a decades-long battle to break the European food standards and break into that market. And it's something that we should all be very 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 aware of um the fact that under the grain deal these food standards were pushed to the side anyway is quite telling the fact that that grain was sent to pig farmers so that actual proper grain could be used to feed people says quite a lot about the understanding on a very high up level of what this grain is and what it could be doing to human beings so I think um, we do, we, we need to look at this war in a variety of ways. It is like an onion. You've got the military side, you've got the economics and all the different levels that come with that. And one of those very, very much is, is the grain. It's the food and how the food is 
not just getting into and out of the country and who's feeding people, but also the regulations and, and how this is once again an attack on Europe.